Welcome, Eurovision fans. So apparently Yossi from Hungary had a Hungarian party and uh, played Origo. So I'm going to take a look at this. I will look at the second rehearsals. It, this really, I hate this. <laughs> I will look at the second rehearsals after this. I'm just doing this as kind of a warm up to uh, get ready to do the reactions for the second rehearsals for the Big Five plus Israel. So uh, let's take a look at Hungary. Make sure that. Good. Perfect. Oh. His vocals are so good. This is why he's going to qualify, because he's got that magic to connect in any setting. <laughs> Still sounds incredible, even despite the video crackling. <laughs> He's just awesome. Sounds outstanding. Just fantastic, you know. It's funny because I, I remember the first time I heard this song. Uh, 
I wish I had a reaction to it because I had shock, awe, um, or being in awe specifically. Then I was like, what am I listening to? And he gets into the rap part and I'm like, that's strange. And then I hear at the end and I'm just kind of like silent for a minute sitting there. And the only thing I could think of was mystical, magical, and freaking amazing. Because I just was blown away by what I just heard. Um, this guy is one of the rare talents. And, you know, there's, like I said, there's some that can do it. Uh, Italy, Mahmoud's really good at it. Duncan Lawrence from the Netherlands is good at it. You know, projecting their emotions onto you as they sing. Uh, I'd say Kate miller is really good at it too from Australia. Um, certain singers have that talent and that level that being able to, you know, push their feelings as they're singing onto you and really project that well. And uh, Yossi's one of the best at that. Um, Oz and Apam is in my top ten. And uh, so was Origo. Just fantastic music. Uh, I always love listening to Hungary every year because it's always something I'm trying to remember. Other than 2015, I pretty much Hungarian songs have been a mainstay in or around my top 10. <laughs> Hungary was my winner in 2016. So uh, Freddie with Pioneer, I love that song. I was listening to some of the 2016 songs yesterday just to remember some of them. That's why I did the uh, Agnet Norway Icebreaker just was more of a um, deep in thought <laughs> in a good way. So, yeah, I love this song, and he did very good here. And uh, I was going to apologize for the video crackling, but it's not my video. <laughs> so uh, go to the video and give it a like and support Yossi and vote for him in the semifinals if you love this song. Uh, I absolutely want to help and support any way I can. So for now, Lethargic Sloth, out.